Hello friends, it's Claude's and I am back with another video. So today, I am doing the history of being a bookworm book tag. This tag is an original tag created by Moon from Moonlight Scrolls and I just think that this is a really cute tag to do to get to know someone and Moon herself tagged me to do this video and so Moon, thank you so much for the tag. Her original video will be linked down below as well as the questions of this book tag. So the people I would like to tag to do this are Esme from Esme's Cup of Book and Isa from Isa Not Bella. Now, let's get on to the actual questions of the tag. First, when did you start reading? So I started reading in second grade when I was about seven years old. One of my classmates was a bookworm and she would always drag me to the school library with her and little by little she broke me down and I started reading books. What is the first book you have read? So because of that friend I mentioned earlier, um, the first book that I read are the Nancy Drew books. I cannot exactly remember which Nancy Drew book it was. All I remember is that it was Nancy Drew. Who are you? Hello, I'm Nancy Drew. Other than Nancy Drew, I was also really into Witch. The, I forgot, it's like, it was sort of like a comic book too, wasn't it? Witch is an acronym for the names of the main characters. So you have Will, Irma, I cannot remember who T and H are, but W is Will, I think. I is Irma and C is Cordelia. Why does this remind me of Winx Club? I just wanted to make a quick story time. When I was in like the second, third grade, in our class, or like, I'm pre I'm not, I, don't, I think other schools do this too, but when it's November, it's book month or reading month. And every day we would have this thing called Dear Time. So it's drop everything and read. So every day for 30 minutes, we get to read a book. Now you can either bring a book to school or choose a book from the school library. So I brought Witch with me one time. And we have the option of like, um, there's this little table we have where we can leave our books that we plan to read for a dear time. It's not required, but like it's a it was a way like our teacher was thinking that it would be a way for like us to get to know each other a little more as classmates. Like if I were to like if I just wanted to know what my classmates were reading, I would go to that table and be like, Oh, this classmate is into this type of book. That's cool. Right? Like, it's, it was actually a pretty good idea. Here's the thing though. Um, it was also a disguise for our teachers to check what books we were reading and which is apparently a book that didn't make the cut. And she never told me why. It might be, I don't know. I actually don't remember if it's written as a YA novel or a middle grade novel, I'm pretty sure. It was marketed as a middle grade novel and not, was it? I don't, guys, I was seven. It could also be because of the whole magic thing because my other classmates who brought in stuff like 39 Clues, Goosebumps, Nancy Drew, Hardy Boys, their books weren't like rejected. Rejected! Rejected! Yeah, you just got rejected! R-E-J-E-C-T-E-D rejected! But I was the only one who brought in like a fan- well, other than Goosebumps, but I was the only one who brought in a fantasy. And I- like, you know how like people, like, especially like adults, they kind of ban Harry Potter because of it's against religion blah 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 it might have been because of that because of the whole magic thing with the witch i don't know they allow goosebumps but not witch hello editing quads here so um i never actually read goosebumps 
So if you ha read maybe both The Witch and Goosebumps and probably you know why I was not allowed to bring Witch but Goosebumps was allowed, please like leave a comment down below. I probably am just missing something here. Anyway, back to the video. And I remember that Goosebumps was allowed because we had copies of it in our school library. So yeah, it's kind of sucks. But yeah. I am now able to read whatever the hell I want. Third question is, name the first five books you have read. Okay, so as I mentioned earlier, Nancy Drew, which Geronimo Stilton for sure, and Percy Jackson. Okay, there is this one other series. I cannot remember its name. I'll try to check my old things. Like maybe it's up there somewhere and maybe I still have a copy of it somewhere all I remember is that it's about this random farm girl who's like 12 or 13 and she is chosen to have a magical unicorn actually I can't remember if it's a unicorn or a pegasus I know those are two different things I just cannot remember which one it is all I know is that it's a fucking horse who inspired you to start reading? So there's that friend I mentioned earlier. And then another friend of mine, Sabine. She inspired me to expand my horizons, my reading taste. She has pushed me to read Neil Gaiman time and time again, and I am forever thankful to her for it. And yeah. What is the very first book you have bought? Nancy Drew. Other than like storybooks, like Bernstein Bears, the gold, little golden crown storybooks. Other than those types of books, the first novel I bought was Nancy Drew. What is the very first book that made you say, oh my days, I love reading? Nancy Drew and Percy Jackson, for sure. I read Percy Jackson because of my friend Sabine as well. And I read it when the movie was first announced. Because, you know, I wanted to like get into the hype. Um, Ten-year-old me was experiencing mild FOMO. So, yeah. Next. What is the first book that you recommended others to read? Percy Jackson, which, and I can't remember if this is like the actual title of the series. I just know that this is the title of the first book. Anyway, The Fallen series by Lauren Kate. If you know me now, and you know what this story is about, you are gonna have the time of your life laughing your ass off. I think this Fallen series was one of my first introductions to YA. I think it was this and the Immortal series by Alison Noel that introduced me to YA. And also Lauren Kate kinda has a special place in my heart. I'm not, I don't really read her books anymore now, but she will forever have a place in my heart for being the author who is the first book signing I ever went to. And that was only because when I bought her second book, it came with like a ticket to her book signing that was gonna happen in like a month or so from that time. So yeah, that was really cool. That was really fun. Do you think reading books has a significant impact on your personality? If so, why? It most definitely has made an impact on my personality. It is my entire personality. Okay, no, not necessarily entirely my personality. But because of books, it does make me a little more curious about the world. Like, now, I don't really do much in life anymore. But, and I don't, and obviously, like, we can't travel right now because of COVID. But in a way, I am traveling because I get to see the world through books and it doesn't just stop in like the world we have. I get to see the world from years ago or I get to see worlds that could be an alternate dimension. You know what? Maybe Narnia is in another dimension or demigods. You see what I mean? Not only that, but books, especially with like favorite characters, with the characters like Rick Riordan's character, you know, 
Percy Jackson, Annabeth Chase, even manga like Lucy Hartfilia, Natsu, Dragneel, um, comic books, Peter Parker. You know, they push you to be better versions of yourself and possibly the person that you want to be. What made you decide to make an online platform dedicated to reading? Okay. So a lot of my friends are in like in life are not readers or don't classify themselves as readers or just doesn't really like aren't interested and like you know that's not a bad thing but you know like you kind of it kind of gets lonely to have interests and have no one to talk about it with and the friends of mine that do read we obviously don't have like 100% the same taste in books or they would rather read a different book at the time or they do read books or, and are interested in it but they don't always have the time for it so I started a platform to find people to talk about my favorite books with to rant about the books that I didn't like and yeah you get the point and finally advice for new bookworms um first off be open to new genres and recommendations from people not only that but like the reason why i started this platform do it however you want but maybe try to find people who has the same reading taste as you or have read the same books as you because it could just be so interesting to go with a friend and discuss why what re why could the author have done this why is the character why do you think the author wrote the character this way why did the plot go in this direction and it makes sense like maybe a book club could be fun to join go on twitter and ask did anyone read this book and if so does anyone want to talk about it with me i would like to discuss i would like to rant you know like it's fun and you get to learn new insight so yeah have a book discussion it's honestly it's fun you get to know more about the book you read you get to meet new friends you get to know more about people and I don't know about you, but I feel less lonely when I'm doing so. So yeah, that is my history of being a bookworm tag. Again, thank you, Moon, for tagging me. And also, again, I am tagging Esme from Esme's Cup of Book and Isa from Isa Not Dala. So if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like, leave a comment, subscribe, and click on the bell icon if you haven't already. And yeah, I'll see you in the next one. Bye!